All right, what's up guys? So basically, today I'm gonna to be talking and walking you through my top five favorite fishing lures for wintertime bass. All right, roll the intro. All right, what's happening guys? Today, we're gonna to be talking about my top five favorite winter bass lures. All right, now, you can really catch fish on anything, in my opinion, right? But certain seasons call for certain lures, certain water color calls for a certain color lure, and so on and so forth. So basically, this time of year, uh, the water temperature around 48 degrees causes the bass to become lethargic, which means they're not gonna wanna eat as much, they're not gonna wanna eat bigger baits, they're gonna be looking for smaller baits they don't want to really put in the effort to chase the big bait so how do you catch them right well let's go ahead and dive deep into my top five favorite lures for winter bass first i have this bass jig with a fluke paddle tail fluke on it i don't know if you can really see it yeah you can see it it's just a regular bass jig. I like to put a paddle tail fluke on it and swim it. And uh, it does wonders for me. I don't know if it's because it looks like a, like a shad, like a dying shad. Because we got the red up here and the white. And then kind of the shad look going on the back and the belly. Uh, that's my number one weapon of choice. I've caught a lot of winter bass on this here. And what I'm using for the paddle tails are these Zoom Swimming Super Fluke Junior White Ice. I really, really like these. Okay, my second weapon of choice for catching winter bass is going to be a football jig with a black and blue get it going for you with a black and blue crawfish trailer. I love it. And so in my opinion for winter bass, right, <clears throat> you're either gonna have bass deep or you're gonna have bass suspended, right? Well, you know. What I definitely like to do is pair these two together on two separate rods, so that way I'm covering both areas. I don't really fish anywhere in the top water column for winter time. I mean, I'm sure you could probably get a bite here and there, but I feel like I'm gonna catch more bass if I'm fishing that very bottom and then the, you know, suspended area for fish. So, Yeah, I love football jigs. I, I'm, I consider myself like a jig fisherman. I don't use lures too much. Uh, there is, a, I'm gonna show you a lure here in a second that I like to use uh, for winter bass, but uh, yeah, a football jig works well. I can hop along the bottom and a bass will come and scoop it up. Uh, I can rip, rip and rip it up, let it fall. Rip it up, let it fall. And that's one technique I really like, uh, especially the bite on it. Um, but mainly for winter time, I kind of stick away from the rip, and I kind of I'm, I'm more gentle and graceful with it. So when you're coming up, right, that's not when the bass are really gonna bite it. When it's falling is when the bass are gonna bite it. It's gonna fall, and they're gonna scoop it up, and then you go ahead and set the hook from there. And here is another variation of the football jig. It's just a regular bass jig, um, not a football head. Um, it's green pumpkin with a, I think it's a green pumpkin trailer, yeah, or watermelon red. Yeah, water, watermelon red crawfish trailer. That's one of my favorites there. Green pumpkin is an all around good color uh, for really any body of water. I even fish it in very dirty water, actually. I, uh, I fish 
uh, black and blue in dirty water too because really it creates the shadow and that's kind of what the fish go after. All right, Joe. So last and not least on my list is going to be the jerk bait. For wintertime fishing, it replicates a dying shad. So most of the time, wintertime, you know, bass are busy chasing bait fish. Um, so, you know, one of those bait fish just happens to be shad and this replicates it so well. You cast it out and basically it hits the water, you jerk the rod and it kind of sinks, twirls a little bit and then you let it pause. And then that pause is when the fish is going to come and inspect it. And then you give it another jerk and at that point the fish should attack it. And it's a pretty good bite when when uh, when the fish does bite it, but you don't really want to set the hook too hard. You kind of want to let the the reel kind of take control there. But yeah, so those are my uh, top three favorite winter fishing lures. So some plastics that I do recommend for the jigs are going to be these Zoom Super Fluke Junior White Ice with the paddle tail. I recommend those. Another one I recommend is the Speed Crawl Watermelon Red. Absolutely amazing color. I love, I love the color of this. I absolutely love this color. It's got like black and red glitter in there. I love it, it looks so good. They are salt impregnated. I do like Zoom stuff a lot. Um, and last but not least, another recommendation is another Creature Crawl, the Christie Crawl by Yum. Black and blue, standard stuff. Nothing too, uh, crazy going on here. Let me take one out of the package. I like these also. And uh, I like these on the uh, football jig specifically. Uh, or I mean any jig, but football jig because when the football jig sits, right, it, it like, you pull it, you rip it up, it's going to come up like this and then it's going to flip over, right? So when it flips over, these little, these little paddle tails right here, these little paddle tails right here are going to start flipping and it's going to look like it's swimming down to the bottom. It's a great, great presentation. Uh, so yeah, those are my top three favorite winter bashing lures. I hope that you guys will go out and try them. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Zoom, sponsored by any company here. I'm just telling you what I use and what works for me. Um, yeah, so I hope you learned something. I hope this video is going to help you catch more bass because that's what I'm here to do. And yeah, catch you on the next one.